In today's video, I'm going to go over the CPI data, how you can get a 576% ROI in just two days, and which stocks I'm buying and why. All right, our January CPI numbers came in a little high with inflation rising more than expected and the markets went on a wild roller coaster ride. Headline inflation rose by 0.5% month over month and 6.4% year over year, which is a little higher than the 0.4% and 6.2% that was expected. What drove those increases? Energy prices rose 2% month over month and food prices rose 0.5% month over month. Those numbers are typically volatile and not something the Fed is too focused on. Within the core CPI number, rising shelter costs contributed a good portion of the gain, but those numbers involve a significant lag. At the end of the day, the Dow was down 0.5%, the tech-heavy Nasdaq was up 0.57%, and the S&P 500 finished flat. I think that pretty much sums up this market because nobody knows which way we are going. But fear not, because there's money to be made in this market and make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to show you how you can make a 576 annualized return in just two days on a stock that I love. Here are a few of our winning trades from Discord. Let's go ahead and start with Mariana P. Successful day trading Tesla with Jerry's J8 indicators and learning from this awesome community. Thanks, Jerry and everyone. And the new J8 indicators, you can get a free trial on those. There's a link down below. But the important part here is she made $272.11 just day trading yesterday. Next up, we've got Beach Bums. Vist was on a pre-earnings list and then showed up in a squeeze list yesterday, opened a position, and today squeezed fired collecting money and this is her call made 87.2 percent and these are our hot stock lists that we publish every day then we've got just play the trend sold to put on boil yesterday on the dip up 31.10 percent and then we've got mara doing its thing up 46.11 percent great job Next up, we've got RV, Tesla Calls today, made $1,104, well done. And then we've got Sean C, an 11% profit on Peabody Energy and only bought it on Friday. And we've got Reeks Havoc, took profit here, left 25 shares to run. So he took profit, made a quick $173.92, but he still has 25 but he still has 25 shares that are running, so that should be more profits for him as well. Great job, everybody. Let me show you how we're making money in the current market and a few stocks that I'm looking to purchase and then I'll show you the sweet 576 ROI play and you can do it with me if you want. As you saw in my Discord, there's money to be made right now, but we want to be very selective because we still have a good chance for a recession in 2023. First up, I scalped the SPY yesterday for a small gain on a volatile day. What I like about scalping is we are in and out the same day and we can make money if the markets are up, down, or sideways. I'm in Thailand and I actually closed my position around 2 a.m. my time, but if I stayed up until closing, it would have been a 100% profit. But I'm not sweating it because I live a good life and small profits are still good profits. So we're now looking at the SPY on TradingView and we had that CPI report came out, it dropped down, came right back up and then the roller coaster began. And if we come over to the far right, we can see this is the three minute chart and the last three minutes, it dropped pretty heavily on extensive volume and that's how it closed out. Now the play that I made, I actually bought right here on this uh, signal and then this was a quick 33% gain for me and I was just looking for a quick hit on it. I actually got a partial fill and then the market started dropping and I finished my position out over here where I closed out the entire position for some small profits on the day. And if we come over here, we can look at the indicators a little bit more. And on the MACD optimal entry zone, we can see the MACD was ripping up. We also had quite a bit of momentum moving our direction. And that was simply the play that I was making. And then on the J8, if you're interested in it, you got a free trial down below. We can also do iron condors off it. And it recommends iron condors whenever the market's going sideways and hits certain criteria. So that's the spy and what we did yesterday. Now let's go over the two profitable stocks that I like for the long term. 
Now, the first stock that I like is going to be YPF, and this is a stock that I've covered an awful lot on this channel. Now, they are in Argentina. Argentina has rampant inflation going on, and these guys are a bit of a unicorn because the locals in Argentina are putting their money in this company, which is partially owned by the state because it's a safer alternative than leaving money in the banks. So this has been a really, really good play for us, and I'm looking to pick up some more of it. Here we can see their PE ratio is 4.2. Two. Their operating margin is 7.6%. And this would normally be a red flag for me because their net income margin is flat right now. But because of the unique situation this company is in, I've been investing in them and we've been making some great profits. If we come on down a little bit more, we can see their free cash flow margin is 13%. So that's awesome. They've got money to work with. And their rule of 40 indicator is incredibly high at 65%. And the last thing that I want to point out is their book value. It's 1.77 is the ratio. And that means this stock is well below their book value. And that's something that I really love. And then if we come down here a little bit more, we can look at a couple of the different areas and we can see what the revenue has done over the years. And of course the pandemic hit them pretty hard. They were at um, $8.1 billion. And then in 2022, they brought that up to $12.3 billion and their revenue growth again, 51.9%. So this is one of the stocks that I really like. And the second stock that I really like is ticker CPA, and that is Copa Airlines. Their official name is Copa Holdings, and we can see their PE ratio is 9.6. Their net income margin is 2.9%, and they're coming back from the pandemic. Everybody in the airline industry was hit. We can see their free cash flow margin is good at 12%. Their rule of 40 indicator is exceptionally strong. And then if we come down a little bit further, let's take a look at what the revenue has done. We can see they were decimated in in 2021 all the way down to 801 million dollars they almost doubled it in 2022 to 1.5 billion dollars but if we look at what they were running pre-pandemic we can see they've still got a long ways to go to get back to where they were and that's where they're heading right now and the revenue growth in 2022 was 88.5 percent and now let's take a look at the charts. We're looking at YPF and we're gonna do some technical analysis. First off across the top, we can see they're up 4.8% in the last week. In one month, 9.1%, two months, a whopping 61% three months, 58%, six months, 161%, one year, 189%. And these numbers are really crazy and it's really a special stock with a situation going on in Argentina. Now, if you're in my Discord and you're with me on this, we currently have the February 17th $11 puts and they're up 83%. And if you wanted to, you could close that position anytime to lock those profits in. Although I'm gonna go ahead and let mine run and probably take 100% profits on that. Of course, I do risk if it comes down to below $11, then I would be put the stock, but I'm okay with that because I actually want to buy more of this stock. So now we've got two different choices. Since I want to buy more, I can either buy the stock or I could buy a call option. And right now I want to point out this stock is in a squeeze. So if we come down and look at the momentum dream indicator, anytime we've got these red dots right here, that tells us that it's in a squeeze. And my regulars know that whenever we go green on green, that can be a great time to buy. And if we look at it, we just hit our first green day yesterday. We can see that our momentum is currently up and we've been in a squeeze for five days days and my long-term viewers you guys know that I like squeezes that are five days or longer so we've got a great setup on this stock and I'm looking to buy more and the other thing we could consider doing is running a wheel strategy on this where we sell the $12 put for 20 or 25 cents per share and that would be another nice sweet profit so we've got these two options right now and I'll be doing one or the other most likely today whenever the markets open. And now let's go over Copa Airlines. We can see in one week, they're up 2.7%. Over six months, they're up 26%. And if we look at the chart here, we can see they've got a nice upward trend. We got the old classic railroad tracks and they've been trading sideways for a little while. Now, this is a high risk play because they are reporting earnings today after the bell. And if you're with me on this in Discord, you'll know that we're in this with the $85 puts and they're currently up 70%. Now, what I'd recommend doing is locking your profits, closing that position, then you don't have to worry about if they report high or low and you take that money and you run. Now, the second thing you can do if you're very bullish and you're willing to take a chance, you could play this over the earnings and that's what I'm looking at doing. And let me show you why. First off, 
off. I've done a lot of research on the company. I like the direction that they're going. They've added new lines in South America. They've got more revenue. They're actually coming back quite strong. Next up, if we look at the Momentum Dream Indicator, we are currently in a squeeze and that's these red dots right here. And it also tells us right now we've got a squeeze. Six dots means six days because we are on the daily chart. So that's each bar and our momentum is currently up. And my regulars know that we like to buy whenever it goes green on green and we don't like to buy if it's red on red. And we can see we just had what we call the reset back down to the zero line and we just went green on the momentum dream indicator and we're likely to go green on the buy sell indicator very soon. So I'm looking to take a long position and I plan on doing this today before it closes so it will be a high risk position. And now I want to give you my play of the day and this one is really sweet. And to do that, you're going to want to understand a little bit about options and you can use my option analyzer. It's 100% free at beastmodeanalysis.com. Just click on this link right here. You don't have to register. You just plug in your numbers and it'll do the rest for you. So what we're going to do on Copa Airlines is we're going to do the first step of what's called a wheel strategy. And we're just simply going to sell an out of the money put and we put in our date, today's date, the 15th. It's going to be two days out, 100 shares, which is one option contract. And we're going to sell the $95 put strike and we're going to be getting a $3 credit. Now our probability is 49%. So that means we've got a 49% chance that this is assigned to us. That would actually be a delta of negative 0.46 and we're going to receive $300 for doing this, which would give us an annual ROI of 576.3% because remember, we're only going to be holding this for two days and either we're put the stock or we're not. Now the key thing to remember is whenever you're selling puts, you want to make sure that you're okay if you end up owning the stock. So if I did this, I would end up buying the stock at $92. And if you're wondering where these numbers come from, let's jump over right now and I'll show you. So we've got CPA, which is Copa Airlines. And then we've got the 17th of February of this year. And we're going to come over here to our puts. And then we're going to scroll down to the $95 strike price. And here we can see the bid is 255. The ask is 340. And this is a pretty big spread. So we're just going to go about in the middle and try to get $3 for each one. The last one actually got 450. And then we can come over here where we've got probability in the money, 49.35%. And then our delta is negative 0.46. And up here you can see this is a position and this is the other one that I've already sold. I'm up, I think it's 70% on that one. And then I'm looking to do another one for some quick profits. And that's all we have to do. Now, the second thing we can do, if this is more risk than you want to take and you want to be a little more conservative, then you could consider selling the $90 put strike. And with that, we would get about $1. Our probability is only 25% that it's assigned to us. The delta would be negative 0.23. We would pick up $100 per contract and that would give us an annualized ROI of 202.8%. And again, I want to stress both of these are higher risk plays because they are reporting earnings after the close today. So if you're okay with that, you want to take a chance. These are two things that you can consider and this is what I'll be doing. As always, have a phenomenal rest of your day. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, grab your free stocks and don't forget to try my indicators for absolutely free. The links are down below and my trade alerts are in my discord. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you back here on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Peace and I'll see you soon.